Aloha, amigos. Welcome back. What's good, everybody? Hopefully, you guys are having a great day today because I am not having the greatest day. Basically, I woke up and I was AFKing and we were actually having some issues AFKing for some reason. One night, I AFKed for like 20 hours straight and didn't get kicked, but all of a sudden today, I started to get kicked for AFK. And basically, some weird glitch happens where when this thing pushes me, our little AFK pool, I'll get stuck on this teleporter right here and it doesn't teleport it just doesn't work at all i think this has something to do with lag so i changed this up a little bit and i think this should actually make this entire thing foolproof if you guys know what i'm talking about or randomly get kicked for afk while in your afk pool then this is how to fix it Basically, all I did is I just ran another teleporter on the other side. So if for some reason this teleporter right here doesn't work, the water will continuously push us onto that teleporter. I don't think two teleporters will mess up at the same time, but I guess if they do, then I don't think there's any way to fix it. But I think this is the best way to fix it, so hopefully tonight when we AFK, we should be all good to go. And then the other thing that we've been talking about for maybe two or one episodes is that these stupid mobs are back on my farm. Dude, like, literally all over and you don't even understand how demoralizing or d d something i don't even know the word for it but bro look at all the broken seeds dude like oh um, let's just take an aerial view of this dude because it is it's bad like it is Oh my gosh, it's so bad. And look, I get it. People were saying put slabs over them. But the thing is, like I said, I don't feel like even doing more work onto this farm just because it's so boring. And that's going to take me a long time. Like to slab this entire thing out, it's at least an hour of doing that. And it's just not fun at all. And I hate doing it. So I'm not going to do that. But somebody in the comments actually suggested me something that I think is actually really, really smart. And he said to make a nether biome stick. Now I've been looking for where this collection actually is and it's actually right here and it's under the magma cream collection so i think it's actually magma cream rank four if i am correct yes and basically this stick will change your entire or can change your entire island to the nether and it'll actually only spawn chickens so basically this biome stick will only allow chickens to spawn i know it's called the nether stick but it only allows chickens it's it's skyblock it's high pixel there are always going to be some bugs but that is what this stick does and another side effect is that it can never actually rain in your island while that biome stick is used. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. It kind of helps us, but it also really hurts us as well. So at the same time of not wanting any mobs to spawn, I think I'm probably going to do that because I don't exactly care about the rain at all. It'll just take a little longer for the crops to regrow. But my main thing that I'm worried about is all the seeds getting destroyed. So I think I'm actually, if I do feel like farming this farm again, I'll make that stick. I'll change the biome and then we'll go back and we'll replant everything but i honestly don't know if i'm really up to it and feel like replanting all of these seeds so looking at our bank we have 4.7 mil now like i said we could probably get an aspect of the dragons for about 6 mil at least and max we'd have to pay 7 mil but let's just say that we're going to get it for 6 mil so realistically we're 1.25 away now looking at my island i did afk for a decent bit last night so i kind of feel like these chests might be stocked up with 1 million coins worth worth of magma cream i could be wrong i'll take that out later but i think what i really want to do is i want to go farm about two summoning eyes because two summoning eyes is at least one million coins so that would put us really close to six mil and then i'll take all the magma cream and then i will go ahead and purchase my first aspect of the dragons that's my plan i don't know exactly how it's gonna go let's go ahead start farming some zealots and see how long i last until i get so bored and just want to quit we finally got an eye, dude, and that took stupid amounts of time. Oh my gosh. We were at about 430 Zlots farmed, and I was really just getting annoyed with people continuously taking my Zlots. Like, dude, this is actually one of the worst things that I've experienced in Skyblock, and this is the key reason that I no longer farm Zlots, because it's just so annoying, dude. So, we sold the summoning eye for 575,000 coins. Really, really good profit off of that, and also, I turned all of that magma cream in the chest into enchanted magma cream now i will admit we have a lot less than the last time we did this that's kind of because i got kicked so often so you know so before i start selling all this let's go ahead and deposit all my money in the bank so we can see how much money we made off today's afkness
724k not bad at all 300k less than the last time well maybe 400k but still we are now at six mil which means we can now purchase an aspect of the dragons all right so we place our bid of 5.9 million coins for this aspect of the dragons let's see if we can get it <laughs> all right so let's check out the auction master and oh yeah baby we got that aotd which honestly we've been moving so fast dude but that's awesome and we finally got this aotd which it doesn't i can't even say finally because it really didn't take that long at all like honestly if we do look at the profile see this is the thing that i hate i actually took a break we we're at one month which even if you think about it one month still isn't that bad realistically we've been probably playing for a total of seven days every single episode that you guys have seen so far is at least one day or maybe two days combined into one episode so realistically it's all based off of how many episodes we have so however many episodes we're on right now i feel like this is going to either be five six or seven <laughs> so i'm sorry i feel dumb but i don't actually know i edit and then i upload a couple of days later so anyway though we got our AOTD now. We do need to enchant this. We also do need to reforge this, which, oh, don't even get me started on that. That's going to cost like a million to reforge because I don't think we'll get that lucky and get spicy. But we uh, we also have the Spooky Festival actually coming up within an hour, which is really good because that is easy money making machine right there. Because think about it. We now can one shot. I believe we should be able to one shot Zelots. We can easily one shot Enderman and we can also do that with the farmer boots on as well so we'll be making so much money or at least getting a ton of candy during this event anyway though let's go ahead we'll grab all of our tailsmen and we'll head to the end real quick because i'm really curious if we're actually able to one shot zilat yet but at the same time it isn't enchanted at all so you know i guess we shouldn't get our hopes up too much but i'm still hoping though i'm not gonna lie i'm still hoping okay uh my expectations were kind of crazy because this does less than half of the damage of the raider's axe uh yeah that's kind of crazy i'm not sure why i expected this to do so much damage but the raider's axe crits with about 7.5k the aspect of the dragons only crits with 3.6k i mean obviously we do know that it is completely unenchanted but i expected a lot better from the aspect of the dragons so anyway we're gonna have to work on getting these enchantments and getting this thing all hooked up but the good thing is that we already have 276 levels so we shouldn't have any troubles enchanting this all right so we uh kind of fully enchanted the aspect of the dragons don't ask me how much i spent to reforge because it was a lot more than i wanted to spend i'll admit that but we don't have all the enchantments on the spicy aspect of the dragons we'll get it in a couple of minutes or well i guess in a couple of hours we got most of them though or at least all the ones that really matter and really affect the damage but the spooky festival is actually only starting in three minutes so my strategy for this is actually going to go to the end right and then we're going to try to find the deadest lobby that we possibly can find and then once we do that we are going to put on the farmer boots unstable armor and we're actually going to use raider's axe now we could use the aspect of the dragons but we should be able to easily one shot okay as i say easily should be able to one shot them and then we don't but we are able to one shot them if we crit with the first strike and we're always going to be doing that when i get the critical potion so i'll be running the critical potions the entire time basically farmer this and we might go a little bit lower down too which everyone has the most and we're just going to keep farming this as much as we possibly can and then see how much candy we have at the end of the event don't worry i already emptied the trick or treat bag and i guess we'll see exactly what happens then but for now i'm going to keep lobby hopping and then i might do a little time lapse of the actual event so if not then it'll be a real quick thing if not then i guess enjoy the time lapse all right so the event has ended and we successfully got 36 purple candy well technically Technically, we would have gone over a full stack of purple candy because we turned that into the candy artifact or candy ring into the candy artifact. And we also got almost four full stacks of green candy, which pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad. And also, as you guys see at the bottom right corner, we got 150k almost, which is pretty crazy. So we definitely had a pretty good spooky festival event. And then if I had to guess, we probably get at least 25k for our placement. But we'll see in a little bit. One thing that I want to do right now is I'm actually going to stay in the end for a little bit and grind out some zlots because a lot less people are actually going to be here they probably are all leaving and going and doing other stuff right now so we're going to grind out some zlots and see if we can score some eyes oh my gosh we finally got a summoning eye we were up to 400 before we got this 
The only thing that kept me going is there's only four people in this lobby, so I guess I'm going to keep going because it's worth it. Hey, okay, we got another summoning eye, and uh, this lobby is even more dead than it has been, which is really good. It is the next day, and uh, funny enough, I basically what happened last night was I kept farming the lobby for a little bit, but we had the private lobby for so long, like literally an hour, and for some reason, my luck was so bad. We only got two summoning eyes, which isn't terrible. It's around 1 million coins, which is pretty good, especially for how much money we have in our bank right now, but the thing is that I knew that the private lobby was like almost a once in a life time chance or opportunity so i figured i would get my other account on and look on screen right now this is how many summoning eyes i farmed for probably like five hours in the lobby on my main account just using the explosive bow now it was really overpowered really crazy so i knew that i had to do it while i possibly could so i can make up a bunch of money especially since i'm not playing over there as much anymore i'm playing on this profile but anyway we got two eyes so that's basically a million now what i'm really trying to focus on next is getting a lot of tailsmen to really increase our damage so something weird is happening while i'm trying to auction these off for some reason my signs keep blinking this literally just happened and i didn't change anything if you guys have ever had that issue or a weird thing happen to you let me know how to fix it because i have no clue but another thing i did is i got a spreadsheet now i didn't make this i don't exactly know who made this i copied it from their spreadsheet and it's just a talisman spreadsheet list so you can mark off all the talisman that you have and then figure out which ones you want to go for next so we're gonna wait for that auction to end we're gonna collect our one mil and then we're gonna spend all the coins from that auction and in our bank on talisman and hopefully increase our damage enough to start one-shotting zealots so i was considering doing slayers for the talisman but then i realized that they are a little bit harder to get than i assumed i assumed that it would only take a couple of minutes because for some reason if we go look at the wolf talisman which i have to go talk to maddox for so the red claw talisman is so cheap it's literally eight wolf tooth and one enchanted bone but all the other ones are a little bit more expensive than that. At least the zombie one is actually decently easy with the zombie ring. It's only 64 revenant flesh and the zombie talisman, but the tarantula one is actually the hardest and not exactly too easy. So a spider ring you would think would probably be just a little bit of that tarantula web or whatever and maybe some random item in the middle, but it's actually a spider talisman and the spider talisman goes from like 100 to 200k at least in the auction house. So this is one of the harder ones. The only way that you can get the spider talisman is actually from the brood mother at the top of the spider's den, which spawns, I believe, every one hour after it's killed, but it's really hard to find one of them. So the slayer talisman might be put on hold a little bit, but we already do have the red claw talisman and we also can get the zombie ring pretty easily. So I might get that one at least, but the spider one's definitely going to have to wait. On a good note though, we actually managed to sell our summoning eyes for just barely over 1 million coins. One sold for 460,000, the other one sold sold for 546,000. So we were really close to not getting a mill, but luckily enough, we did get a mill and we also got two extra talesmen for decent prices. I'll say we got the feather ring and we also got the night vision charm. Look at our balance right now. It's perfect. One, two, three, four. Unfortunately though, it gets cut off and then goes to 706, but we got to reforge. Oh, okay. I'm not exactly sure what reforges I want on the talisman right now, but stuff like itchy or godly, I'll accept both of those. So ladies and gentlemen, it was a much shorter episode than usual i do apologize for that but i need to get working on the next episode so i wanted this here and uh we did some pretty good stuff this episode we made some decent money on the next episode i want to focus heavily on getting a lot of talisman or as much talisman as i can possibly get and increasing and maximizing our stats anyway though hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure you smash that like button and if you guys are new around here hit the subscribe button and by the way if you are new around here and you hit that subscribe button turn those post notifications on as well so that you get no notified every single time I upload a video or if I go live. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.